Hey guys, Brendan McCormack here from Perth Fit Fam TV, and today we're checking out the ICN 2017 Perth Classic. Let's go take a look. Catching up with Tim and Reza, who've just come off stage, the Physique 21s. Yeah. Boys, it's your first comp for both of you. Tell us a little bit about the experience and the prep leading in. It was pretty long, you know, um, hard. <laughs> it was my first cut too. <laughs> your first cut? Yeah. And you've done a great job? Yeah, same, same. Likewise, first cut. Um, come down from 110 kgs to 71 now, so I'm pretty light. But uh, it's been tough. It's been a long journey, uh, but it's been great. I'm, I'm so hungry right now. I just need some KFC real quick. <laughs> so you've just come off stage, tell us a little bit about the division you were up and uh, just the experience up there on stage. Uh, just uh, men's physique novice, uh, second division, so this is the tall division. Uh, as you guys can probably see, awesome, awesome, awesome guys out there. Really tough divisions today, I obviously took out third today. Um, yeah, uh, tough, been tough prep as well. But definitely well worth it when you see all these guys and stuff here. Yeah. Well, so here with Casey Fenton, who's just come off on stage. Tell us a little bit about your experience up there today. It's been awesome. Um, it's been a bit of a long wait today. I've um, been here since about 12.30, so I've been itching to get on stage. So um, once I started getting the pump up on, yeah, I was getting really excited. And um, how'd you go up there? Uh, really good. Um, uh, Miss Bikini, oh, uh, oh, no, tall class novice, <laughs> first place. Um, and then I just got a second place in open class two. So. And um, lastly, before you go, just tell us a little bit about the vibe back here and about the event today. It is awesome. I've actually... Um, met a whole heap of people that I've been waiting to finally meet in person, so it's been really good. Um, yeah, nice to finally meet a few faces that we see around the uh, fit community in Perth. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Good luck up there now. Thank you. Thanks. Olivia Benson, who is a coach and a PT up in Surge Fitness in Clarkson. So as a coach, how does it feel to be able to see your competitors that go through, uh, and your clients that go through so much dieting and so much sacrifice to get up here today? I think because I've been through it myself, I know like how much hard work and dedication has gone into it. And either way, I'm just so proud of seeing her up there and all the hard work because I know what it's taken to get up there. And either way, place or no place, she's done amazing. And what about the competition here and the, uh, I guess the atmosphere and the vibe out the back? I think it's been really great. There's no tension. There's a lot of camaraderie. Yeah, so such a friendly vibe here. Like, everyone just smiles and, yeah, you don't feel like someone's watching you. Like, oh. Yeah. No, nah, they've done a great job. But um, good luck for Laura. And um, no doubt we'll see you on stage soon. Crystal Puma, you've got wings, you've got earmuffs. Tell us a little bit about what is going on right now and what you're about to step up into. Okay, so it's my very first time doing ITN Angel, so I am an ice angel. Nice. But for the little kids, it's a snow princess. A snow princess. <laughs> and tell us a little bit about this division, it's obviously pretty unique. Yeah, so obviously with this, um, as you can see, a couple of the girls have different designs, so it's just about having a bit of personality and bringing a bit of fun to the stage. It's from Creative Bikinis, so Claire has put this together, so between the two of us we have designed something very unique, and I love it. Awesome, well done, good luck up there, we'll see you soon.
Kayla, who's fresh off stage, and you've just won. So tell us a little bit about your division and your experience up on stage. Um, so I just won the fitness model open. Um, sorry, sports model open. And so it's not your first time up there. Um, how does it compare coming in a bit more seasoned than your previous uh, competition? Um, I'm still nervous. Uh, but I think, yeah, it's definitely a lot easier. You feel a lot more comfortable on stage when you've done it before. Congratulations, Brooke. You've just won. What is it exactly that you've won? Bikini overall. Awesome. Congratulations. And uh, tell us about your experience today up on stage. Um, I was very nervous. I couldn't smile probably because my lip was just like the whole time. And that's about it, really. <laughs> awesome. And what about, I said that we've got a crowd behind. We've got plenty of friends and family here. Um, give us a run through about the vibe that's here today and just the atmosphere at the event. Yeah, it's really good. Everyone supports each other when you're backstage coming up. All the girls talk to you. They don't like snob you off, which is good. Yeah, there's no tension. It seems to be a lot of camaraderie yeah. here. Yeah, it's really good. And you'll be coming back? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Congratulations. Enjoy. And uh, go enjoy Krispy Kremes or pizza, wasn't it? Um, no, I'm going to go through the Krispy Kreme drive through and I've got condensed milk. As the first cheat meal? Yeah, condensed milk. There you go. That's a new one for today. <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> Sam Attrell, who's the president of the ICNWA. Um, first of all, congratulations on a great show. The atmosphere here has been awesome. It's a really friendly environment. Um, if we can, just give the viewers a bit of a run through about what's happening with the changes and um, just, just the show that you put on. Um, well, really, at the end of the day, the only the changes are just a name change. You know, we're still the same federation. We're still giving the same uh, competitions. Um, as what we always did, but now we've just got a bit of a freedom to be able to go international, um, bring on more countries, um, and truly make it worldwide. Yeah, absolutely, and there is a few more coming up as well. So I thought we had Bali last year, and there's a couple more on the calendar. Is there now? Correct, yeah, we've got Thailand, uh, Phuket, which is um, the world's amateur natural titles, and then we've also just named Bali uh, Nat Olympia, which is just um, going to take that competition to the next level, um, and hopefully it'll be the best of the best to start competing there. Yeah, absolutely, and hopefully we get to get over there as well. Um, now, just the environment here, like I said, it's just fantastic. The camaraderie seems great. How important as a promoter is that for you to have like such a great family within the, I guess, the bodybuilding and fitness scene? I guess that started from when I was competing. Um, you know, what I never experienced is this, um, and what I did want to experience is this sort of thing. I mean, it is a very selfish sport, but you also want to be able to um, have fun, enjoy yourself, and that's what I try and promote. And, you know, that is the backbone of me and the ICM. Yeah, and it's fantastic. Like I said, it's a great vibe um, for me to be able to come back here and, and sense that as well. Um, is like, you know, really feather in your cap. Um, also, thanks for letting us jump on and have a bit of fun there as well, um, as always. And, yeah, best of luck for everything, and we'll always be here to support. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. That's a wrap for us today, guys. To find out more about the ICNWA, make sure to head to their Facebook page. And if you've seen a friend in this video, make sure to give him a tag. And as always, stay tuned for more of the perfect fitness scene to come.